Hello, I'm Sarah Beckwith. NASA spends approximately $1.4 billion each year on information technology systems that control spacecraft, collect and process scientific data, and enable agency personnel to collaborate with colleagues around the world. NASA also maintains a significant internet presence with approximately 3,200 publicly accessible websites and web applications through which it shares information with the public and a worldwide research community. But with such large investments comes correspondingly large IT security threats, and the need to promptly detect and respond to these threats has become an essential part of the agency's IT security program. In November 2008, in an effort to improve NASA's security posture, the agency consolidated what had been center-based computer security incident detection and response programs into a single agency-wide entity called the Security Operations Center, or SOC, at Ames Research Center. Our audit examined NASA's management of the SOC, as well as its operations, capability, workload, and resource management. We found the SOC has fallen short of its original intent to serve as NASA's cybersecurity nerve center for several reasons including the agency's failure to develop an effective IT governance structure, a lack of necessary authorities, and frequent turnover in critical IT positions. In turn, this has limited the SOC's ability to coordinate the agency's IT security oversight and develop new capabilities to address emerging cyber threats. As a result, the SOC lacks the key structural building blocks necessary to effectively meet its IT security responsibilities. We also found that an, that an effective SOC should have a charter signed by stakeholders that explicitly details its authorities and responsibilities. However, after 10 years, the NASA SOC has no such charter, nor does it have a roadmap to illustrate plans for its future. Moreover, the SOC lacks the authority to manage information security incidents across all of NASA's IT infrastructure and lacks formal agreements with key divisions, centers, and mission directorates. Instead, the SOC relies on personal relationships and informal understandings for access. This results in a lack of visibility into mission networks and high-value IT assets, and sufficient ability to store data and determine relationships between potentially suspicious events, incomplete network mapping, and missed opportunities to reduce duplication and leverage economies of scale. Taken together, these shortcomings limit the SOC's capacity to effectively respond to cyber attacks and proactively protect NASA's IT assets. SOC officials attribute many of the organization's challenges to a lack of leadership stability. In the 10 years since the SOC was established, nine different individuals have served as NASA's Senior Agency Information Security Officer. Frequent turnover in this position has resulted in constantly changing priorities and management direction. Finally, the current contract vehicle used to procure SOC services limits the agency's operational flexibility and the ability of SOC management to measure contractor performance. We have made six recommendations to help the SOC position itself as the agency's front line of cyber defense so it can better monitor, detect, and mitigate cyber incidents across NASA. NASA has agreed with the recommendations and pledged to take corrective action. To read the full OIG report, please visit our website at www.oig.nasa.gov.